Hi everyone, long time no see. Now it's early morning in China, but in your country maybe it's in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, right? But anyway, I'm glad to communicate with you in my video. Today, actually, I will introduce a special spell port for you. That's the small flow hopper gate. When you use the spreading system, and uh, when you unbox it, then you could find this spare part. Okay, as you could see the picture here. Actually, the small flow hopper gate is used with the T30 or T10 spreading system when you use the materials with small flow or small diameter. So this will be a helpful spare part when you would like to get a precise spreading. Okay, let's go. Okay, firstly, let me make a simple introduction of small flow hopper gate spare part. Actually, it is used with T30 or T10 spreading system 3, which means when you get a new spreading system and when you unbox it, then you could find this spare part. Actually, it is used to provide a more accurate flow control for more precise spreading operations. So some people may be not so familiar with it. Then you could see the picture I showed you just now. And also some people may ask how we could use it and when we should use it. Actually, if you use the spreading system before, then you could find the standard hover gate at the bottom of the spreading system, right? So the small flow hover gate is another spare part. You could use it if the hover outlet size is less than 20% or the diameter of the spreading material is less than 2 millimeters to get a precise spreading. Here it shows the steps of installation. I will not explain one by one for you because it clearly described here and later I will show you the picture about how to install it. Here what I would like to say is about the attention, okay? Firstly, please make sure the spreading system is powered off before installation, okay? Which means you could not install it when you power on the spreading system. Secondly, please operate with caution with injury caused by sharp or moving mechanical parts. After this, then please follow the steps to install it. And I believe you could finish it based on your experience. As well as, here you could see the steps of pictures about how to install it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Also, if you are new, then you could check my previous videos about how to install or use the spreading system. Okay, thanks for your watching.